What's up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we're opening and reviewing this Marvel Legends set of the Black Panther Wave. So this has um, all the different Black Panther characters that come with Build-A-Figure sets to build Okoye, which is what a Black Panther, or Black Panther's main uh, bodyguard from the movie, if you saw that. So in this set we have a Black Panther, then we have Eric Killmonger, so um, the Michael B. Jordan character, and then over here we have Nakia, so those are the three Black Panther characters that come in this set. And then additional to up here we have um, Black Bull. Iron Man and Submariner or Namor as um, I call them and stuff and so these all like I said um, have build a figure sets for Okoya and then we also have to go along with it have some other sets to go along with it so we have the Toys R Us exclusive Claw and Suri so of course this was Claw one of the bad guys from the movie and then Suri which is Black Panther's sister so we have these two characters these are based off their comic versions so we have that as well and then we also have two Walmart exclusives we have a Black Panther that kind of looks like it goes along with the movie with um, how his suit would light up and stuff but this is I believe a comic book version um, but yeah so it has all the like pinkish purple color along with it and then we have the classic looking Black Panther that's also a Walmart exclusive and so this is like his original outfit and look is what this is so we have all these characters and then to go along with it which doesn't go along with it but we thought it did is the Rhino so this is a Walmart exclusive Rhino that we thought went the, with the Marvel Legends that you could like put on the back here and have them ride but it goes to smaller figures but <laughs> since we bought it it's here as well so we'll just kind of just look at that as well so let's go ahead and get into all these figures so first up here we have Black Panther of course the main character from this whole thing and this is the movie version so I think this looks really cool and so this of course T'Challa the king of Wakanda and so here is an up close look at him he's kind of plain basic he's just all black and all black figure then has a lot of the gold or uh, silver spread out throughout his body for design and stuff but here's a look at his face again that I think looks really cool so of course we have the panther looking head with the eyes and then we have the silver lining all around the face just to add more detail detail then he has of course the ears and it, I don't know if I can get this to focus in on it but you can see the detail that goes in like in between the like flat parts the like uh, kind of like detailed designs going in there and that kind of spreads all throughout the body um, in between the parts so you have like the flat parts here like you know the chest it's just like a flat uh, shiny black paint but then in between we have the um, like textured designs that go all in around the outfit which I think looks really cool I like all that then of course he has this necklace which uh, in Black Panther stuff kind of like gives him all their powers and everything like in this it contains his suit and everything so when he's wearing this it can you know form the suit around him and everything then we go down and have some more uh, silver there on around his belt then on his arms on his gauntlets here we have some silver design on the top and bottom some just little parts then we have the claws here so of course he's a panther so he has to have sharp claws and so they're silver as well the like fingertips as well so he can like scratch it like rawr. and the same on both hands and then going down we have his feet so he has like feet gauntlets or boots I don't know what you'd call these um, so again the silver on them that kind of match the necklace like the teeth type design and then the toes as well so um, his toes uh, don't or the claws on like his toes don't have the silver which I think be cool if they did um, but I think it's kind of cool it just looks like he has weird shoes on that look like uh, animal feet and stuff so I think that looks really cool um, so for him of course they have all the classic movements of course you can twist his head around and just move it not up and down all sorts of move there the shoulders does have this um, like butterfly type joint or whatever you want to call it that can move back and forth right at the shoulder then of course the normal shoulder joints where they move up and down and stuff and you can rotate it as well then the next part down I guess the bicep or something you can twist around and everything then the elbow joints which looks like it's a double elbow um, is where it moves on the top and bottom has two different joints and then of course the wrist that can spin around and bend up and down and stuff so it's gonna have that then on the waist we have the crunch ab crunch which there it goes say so the ab cruncher is there then can spin at the waist and then we got the hip joint so it can kick the legs out and then the upper thighs so you can twist which always annoys me that's like the worst part of the things double knee joints so just like the elbow can bend in two places at the top and bottom and then we have the foot which can like twist side to side to help get it to stand up and everything 
kind of like that. Um, so that's really all there is for the Black Panther. So he does come with some extra parts. So we do have T'Challa's head. So this, of course, the character, I don't remember his name from the sh uh, movie and stuff, but the guy that played Black Panther, it's supposed to be his head. So you can take it off and replace it. So if you don't want the mask on, you can do that. And then if you don't want the claws, it also does come with two fists. So you can you know, obviously make it look like it's fighting and everything. And from the box, it says a warrior and defender of Wakanda. T'Challa is a hero of legend, Black Panther. And so, of course, that's just what it says about him. And then for our build a figure of Okoya, we have the head of her, which I can't remember the actress's name. I want to say Denai Guria, I think is her name, which plays um, Michonne in The Walking Dead. So if you've seen The Walking Dead and then you thought she looked familiar and didn't know who she was, that's who it is. So she's Michonne, which is cool. So we have her head there. So that's going to be it for Black Panther. And next up here is Eric Killmonger, and I like his outfit a lot more compared to Black Panther. Just the more detail and design they put into it. So pull up close here. So he has a head, of course, very similar to the Black Panther, but of course this time it has um, sudden designs in the movie. I guess you can see it, like kind of at the top here and around the side of his head and stuff. It kind of has uh, kind of like leopard stripes or something. I don't know what other kind of animal, like leopard or cheetah stripes going in or like spots going all over his head just so you can tell that it is different and everything. But on this one, um, I don't know if we can see the detail in it but you can see like all the little dots so this is really cool texture like it's just like a bunch of little dots all over him and I think it's really cool that they put that design in so we have this one is all gold instead of silver like the last Black Panther but you can see his face it does look really evil and he has the gold eyes and everything then we go to his necklace and so it's a different design of the Black Panther and of course this also gives him his suit and it does also have I don't know if you can see kind of little dots all over it um, to give it the texture as well and then those dots just spread all around so you can see him on his chest and everything and they just go all over his body so when you touch him he has this really weird cool like uh, texture going on to him and so since he's all gold he has gold of course on his um, wrist here which he has a giant hand it looks like compared to what Black Panther's was so we have the gold parts here and then of course the gold fingers again for slashing and clawing um, same on both hands and then of course we have the belt area of the gold as well going all the way down to his feet. So we have top parts here that are gold, and then the toes on this one are gold, and they look more pointed compared to the Black Panther. So I just like this outfit overall a lot better just because the the like little dot designs that give the texture and then the gold parts that they did highlight in gold. And so there's not much more to him. He's exactly like Black Panther and all the movements and stuff. So if you, um, I'm not gonna go through his character because they're all pretty much exactly the same. But for parts for him, we do have some hands, so we do have another claw, so if you want to give him two of the claws, and then an open, or somewhat closed hand, but it's open at the same time for a reason. This one has really big, like, nails on it. I don't know if you can get it to see there, but they have really big nails or claws going on them. But he has open hands because he comes with some weapons, so first off we have this spear, which I don't remember, I can't remember, I thought in the movie this spear, like, or this little it looks kind of like a little sword or thing but I thought it like extended to become a spear and so that's why it has this design in the like point on it up here that looks like a spear so it would uh you know expand out to become a spear but I can't remember if that did happen in the movie or not if I'm just making that up so um it does have that so that way you can you know use that other claw to be able to hold this uh, weapon as well and then he does come with a sword that he used during the fight which I think is such a weird looking sword design but cool at the same time because of how it like fans out at the top here and it so it'd be dull up here but you know keeps you from stabbing and more for slashing and it's got the holes so for wind resist or movement and stuff and I think that just looks really cool so he does have those two weapons of course since he's a bad guy he's got to have weapons to be able to fight with um, so from his box says a warrior of physical and mental strength Eric Killmonger slashes into battle with unrivaled intensity so there's a little information on him and then our Okoya part is the left leg of her so it's kind of boring it's just a leg um, but we got that leg of her and so that's going to be it for Killmonger. And next up here we have Nakia. So this was Black Panther's love interest in the movie. And she's done by Lupita Nyong'o. I can't, I don't know exactly what's her name. But I always liked it because she's the character that also plays Maz Kanata. Or does the voice of Maz Kanata in the Star Wars new current movies. So 7, 8, 9 and stuff. And so if you thought she sounded familiar to stuff, that's who she is. Because when she talked, all I could think of was Maz. 
And so um, this is kind of cool character. So again, she like I said, she was the love interest. And so we'll bring her up here, and so we can see her face. So she does look a lot like the character that or the actress that played her in the movie, which I think is cool. I like the way they go into sculpts and stuff like that to get them to look like their actual movie characters. And so she has the curly hair here, and so she's got big earrings there on her ears because of course she's kind of like a royalty. Um, person so she's going to have nice jewelry and stuff on it to then go into um, the neck rings and then kind of like a necklace going on around here so she's of course a warrior um, and like a protector of uh, the Black Panther so the King of Wakanda and stuff so the, she's, this is their like warrior outfits for the women and so she's got this orangish um, outfit on which I think looks really cool I love the design they put into this and everything so she does have a piece of armor over here and then of course on her wrist she has armor as well and a small piece there then going into the design of like this, I don't know if you call it like a dress or something, but whatever their outfit is. And so it goes down again with the orange and makes them the brownish black colors going in there. And you can see the detail of the designs they put into it and everything going in there. And so they put a lot of details. You can see all the like the lines and everything going into it. It looks really good. So then, of course, we come to a belt that has a Black Panther head on it since she's a protector and stuff. And then into like the dress type part here. So it goes down the back and has the same design as the front there on the back and so that just kind of hangs down as part of the dress then she has some sort of like pant legs here um so you can see again has a lot of design and texture going into it there and then we get to boots has more protection on the top of her legs and then the boots there as well and so again they i love the design and all the textures and stuff they put into this character so since this is a female she does have some different movements um so of course we have the head which is normal shoulders that are same doesn't have that butterfly joint just has the up and down shoulder the elbow which is just a single joint um, and so she's a female so they have real thin body parts and stuff so that's why it's not doubled then of course the wrist that can move a little and then spin around as well then so up her like right under her chest or whatever she has a little bit of movement there not the ab crunch like the men do then of course she does have a little bit of uh, hip movement going in here and but of course because like the dress part it kind of blocks it up and then she has does have the upper thigh the knee which is the same as the men the double joint and then the lower foot part here that can just move back and forth to help them stand so I think again that's a real I really like the look of the figure then she does come with some weapons so she does have this like sword spear type thing again uh, I don't know if it extends out or anything to become an actual spear but that's just what it looks like here so it's like a little sword and then she does what she used a lot in the movie where these rings to fight with so they remind me a lot of like Xena um, warrior princess she used to use these rings and stuff in the show and so she can obviously hold both of these and like I said she did use these a lot in the movie so it's cool that they did come with that so from her box it says a member of the Dora Milaje Nakia protects the rainy black panther with strength and poise and so then that leads into our Okoya figure which is very similar to this one we got her like whole body part going in here so as you can see her dress besides color is different um is very similar though in like design and looks and everything the colors are like a little bit darker on this one and it it's like real dark in here. I don't know if that's a paint mistake or what's going on there. Um, but again, they do look very similar because, of course, they're both a part of the same thing to protect uh, part of the security group for the Black Panther. So we do have that. And then she also, for Okoya, does have a spear. So she's got this spear. So with the spearhead there, which I think looks kind of cool, then it's just a long black stick to go with it. And so that's going to be it for Nakia. Then next up here we have Black Bolt, which always was kind of one of my favorite characters since I learned about him, so I really like him. He's like the leader of the Inhumans, so if you've heard of the Inhumans, which is pretty thing, much anything that are like the mutants, but not mutants. Like they, and because of the whole like movie related stuff and everything going on with Fox and everything, they switched and got rid of all the, kind of like the mutants and stuff. At least this is what I heard and everything. And so now they're pretty much all considered to be inhuman. So these are people with like actual powers. Um, but so he, of course, if you saw the inhuman show and stuff, you saw they're from like a foreign planet and everything. But I like his power because he has like super yelling power, I guess is how you could describe it. And so anytime he opens his mouth to like talk or do anything, Thing. he just like sends out these like sonic blasts that kind of like destroy everything so he communicates through telepathy through this like prong on the top of his head which you can't see here because it does this head has um kind of like the stuff coming out of it i guess supposed to be like his telepathy type, 
thing, but he does have his mouth open as well, like he's yelling. So he's in this all black and gray outfit, or like blackish gray, uh, dark blue, gray color outfit. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a darkish blue. I don't know how it looks on the camera exactly, but there's an up close look at his head there and yelling. I do like this like bubbly stuff coming off the top of his uh, prong thing on his head. And then of course his mouth, which looks cool because it's all blue inside. And I really like that. He's got wide eyes there. So then here's his outfit. Of course he has this silver like design going all around him and stuff. It's on his gauntlets here on his hands, on his back, the same as the front of him. Um, so it looks really cool. And then of course he has wings here because he does um, use, can like fly and everything. So he has wings to go on there too. So like some metal wings going here, which looks cool. Um, other than that, there's not much to him. So from his waist down, he's just plain the same color as his outfit. No design. It just stops here at his uh, like trunks or whatever you want to say. And so I like how it kind of has like the belt looking design with his outfit going on here at his waist and stuff. And it just, I really like the look of this character, but there's nothing much going on to it. He has all the same uh, joints as Black Panther and stuff. So there's nothing special to look at there. We can like kind of move, try and move his arms down, his shoulder joints all twisted around and everything. So let's see if I can get it situated here. Uh, I have to mess with the layer. I wanted to put his arm down to see what it looked like when you put his arm down because of the wings and stuff, which I assume it'll just stick out the back like that. Um, but they designed it so his arms can be up like that, obviously. And so some items that came with it, or the item that came with him, I guess, is so if you don't want to have this head on with the bubbles and him yelling and stuff, he does have his normal looking head here. So there's the prong on the top of his head. I forget what to, like a tuning prong is, I think, what they call those. Um, is what it looks like there on the top of his head and then his normal face and he's always so got blue eyes and stuff Not the all white eyes going on there and his mouth is shut So if you want to switch those out you can and so from his box says supercharged powers and Quasic Sonic scream let black boy destroy enemies with a single utterance and so that kind of explains his powers there and so for Okoya, which of course um, these we get into non black panther characters, but um, they still come with the pieces. So for Okoya, we do have her right leg. So we're getting close to finishing her up. Um, but that's going to be it for Black Bolt. And next up here, we have Namor the Submariner. So this is kind of like DC's ver or Marvel's version of Aquaman, which, of course, Submariner was around way before Aquaman, I'm pretty sure. And so this is kind of a weird figure. We do have, um, they did make a, another figure of this. It was a Walgreens exclusive like a couple years ago. And we do have that. I just forgot to grab it to show you, you know, what he boastly looks like because this he's just in real skimpy outfits almost naked here besides his little trunks uh going on there so i wish he had more clothes on but so here's a look at him so he's one of the, like marvel's like oldest characters he was around with like captain america and human torch as some of the first like characters of marvel and everything so here's a look at his face there so he's got really big high eyebrows i guess it's kind of like spock eyebrows it almost looks like and then he's got um, some pointy ears, so it's kind of like they're a weird version of Spock, but again, this was around before Spock ever would have been around. And then he's got pointed hair in the back, so it kind of reminds me of Wolverine here, where his hair sweeps back and comes to two points in the back there. Um, and then we have his chest. He doesn't have any outfit on, so it's, it's kind of hard to talk about that. But he's just all ripped up, so you can see he's just got all sorts of muscles everywhere and stuff. So he does have these gold gauntlets on his arms. And then he has his trunks on here, which again is just like the Aquaman design. Um, he has the like scale design outfit, and then of course the gold belt with the uh, trident looking logo there for Submariner. And then down here on his feet, which I really like, he has the little wings, so he's kind of like uh, Hermes or whatever from the Greek mythology and stuff but um he swims so you know i assume they pop probably help him swim fast he could fly too i for all i know i'm not exactly sure i don't know a whole lot of details about him um but for him we do also come with some items so we do have a different head you can switch out which i think this one looks a lot better i like the design with the beard and everything and otherwise he still has the um, pointed ears not as extreme the high eyebrows but his hair does come to the points in the back but it's just kind of like sweeping back here that kind of forces it into the points which i really like that so that'd be a much better head to put on it he does also come with two flat hands so i guess to make it probably look like he's swimming you know you could put him out in front like he's swimming and everything if you want to do that as well to switch them out and then he comes with his trident weapon, so it's a big giant trident staff here. So of course the three prongs, and then it's got some, you know, some uh, like design going on here, which is 
kind of reminds me of like a, a seahorse or something this part here and then what looks kind of like a snake or something coiled around here it's just not a real one it's just like designed into it that coils around and then of course the end of it that you can have him hold as well and so from his box it says with incredible strength and swimming speed submariner is a powerful force on land and sea and so that kind of again gives you more information and for okoya we do have her right and left arms here so again getting her which i think that's it because our next character doesn't come with any parts of her so she's complete now we have everything for her and that's going to be it for submariner and next up here we have Invincible Iron Man. So Invincible Iron Man is just a different set of comics and sets. So I, he looks the way he does because very much matches the Iron Man from the comics there. So this of course is Tony Stark, not um, the girl version, which I don't even know if she's, I don't know what the whole comic book said, but I know there's currently a girl as Iron Man. But this is Tony Stark because we'll see here in a second. So this character is really different. Like I don't know what's different about him. Of course it does look like Iron Man, so we have, it's all uh, red and gold armor going on here yellow if you want to say it and so it looks you know kind of like iron man obviously just a different design he has so many outfits it's you know if it looks like this you know it's iron man um so he does have his of course uh little um, arc reactor type thing i think is what's called there in the center it gives him kind of power to his suit then up here he, we've got the blue eyes and then of course the just different design of the face it does have this point to it which is kind of weird um it kind of reminds me of bird or something but the point going on there but this design, like the way it is, it's just so smooth and like the texture of it and the feeling of it, it just doesn't feel like a Marvel Legend compared to like all the other characters and stuff. It just feels like some other type of character. Um, but in the movements, because he is an Iron Man, he can't move as well because he has limited movement in the armor and everything. But he does have hands here again with the blue on the end of his hands and so this hand does have a point or uh, open hand like you shooting something that you can obviously stick out of here that we'll see in a second then a fighting fist so you can punch you as well again with the blue on it and then going down into his chest so it looks like he has abs of course and then going in to his legs all the same sorts of movements um, as every other character then his feet I like how they kind of gave it like the big toes on the feet it kind of reminds me of like the like ninja shoes or something um, but I really like the design of this character and so of course since it is Iron Man he has to come with all sorts of things so first off we have the head so again it's Tony Stark and so um, there it does kind of look a little bit like the um, Robert Downey Jr. character but it's more kind of like the cartoon versions is what it looks like is there so you can also switch those heads out if you want them for hands you can switch out hands so we can uh, switch it to give them two open hands if you want it or two fisted hands which you know you can choose whatever you want he does come with a gun so you can just kind of stick it on one of his arms I guess it doesn't really matter it's easier to do with the open-handed ones because you know um, the fingers and stuff don't get in the way so he does have this gun type thing it doesn't do anything it's just kind of designed there and then he does come with the blast, so you can obviously stick these in his hands. So if you have both the hands, you can do it. And so, you know, it looks like he's kind of shooting stuff out. Or you can put it on this gun as well to make it look like the gun is shooting. So those are some different options you can do for Iron Man. Um, he doesn't come with any parts for Koya, so we don't have to worry about that. But from the box, it says Techno technological upgrades and weapons help Iron Man order bring order to any battle and so that's just some info on him but i think this looks really cool and of course they keep adding these like blaster type things into a bunch of the iron man so we've gotten a couple iron man in the past that come with these i think they're cool i like them designed a little bit differently but you know they're just whatever they can do to design it so that's it for all of our okoya figures so go ahead and build her real quick and then of course we have more exclusive figures and everything to get into but we'll go ahead and build her first Okay, so I got Okoye all put together here. So, obviously, there's nothing really special about her, like, of looks and everything. She looks uh, very similar to Nakia, and like I said, I showed you her outfit earlier. Obviously, this has just got more orange color with the darkish design going in there. She has more gold on her uh, designs where uh, Nakia had silver and everything. So, she has the gold at the top, and then the gauntlets here are gold as well. And then she's got a brown cape where Nikki had the orange that matched the color. And this is an actual orange where that was like a red orange. And then like I said, it's got the dark design. Then Nikki's legs were brown where hers is now black. And so they're in very similar outfits. They're just different colors and stuff probably just to show difference. So again, here's a look at her face. 
as well. The top there you can see, and she has like all like the tattooish designs there on her uh, head because she's got the bald head. The gold necklace is there on her neck. So there's just an up close look at her face and everything. So again, there's not much special going on. She's exactly like Nakia. So if you saw Nakia, she's exactly the same. Then of course she does have her spear as well that you can stick into her hands there. So again, so there's it for the build a figure of Nakua or Okoy, if I can get the names right. And so I think that looks kind of cool. And I guess um, it is kind of I guess a worthy figure of a build a figure. I mean, um, females I usually don't like because they're so small and skinny. And so uh, like as a build a figure, it just seems kind of a waste. When you get the thing like the last set we did of the lizard, you, you know, it's a big giant character. So it is kind of weird to, that they do the different sizes and stuff, but I still think she is definitely a worthy character to have a figure of her, so I guess I'm glad that they did um, add her in, even if it is just as a build a figure. So that's going to be for N Okoya, so we're going to move on now to the exclusive figures. So we're starting off with the Toys R Us exclusive 2-pack. So first up here is Claw. So this, of course, was one of the bad guys that worked along with uh, Killmonger in the movie. And so he was, of course, the Andy uh, Circus character, but he did not look like this at all. But this is what his comic book version does look like. He's in this red and purple outfit, which I think looks ridiculous, but it's kind of funny at the same time. I'd like to see Andy Circus in this outfit here. So here's a close-up look at his face. So it is kind of weird, like evil demonic looking face it's kind of weird um but that's just the way it's designed they has the purple stripe there on his head which i think looks cool with the red um and all that and so there's that just face looks so weird then we got an all red body there besides of course the purple trunks that kind of remind me of the hulk then he's got the um uh thing on his hand i can't think of what you call this it. kind of like a uh um, like satellite dish type thing, but this is what submits the energy because I forget what it is. Like the claw had powers related to like sound and stuff. I forget what his whole thing is, so I'm just kind of pulling this out of my head. Um, but he like kind of something happened to him and he got turned into physical like version of energy and stuff. So he's just made up of all like sound energy or something. And so he has this claw that can submit um, the sound and stuff. So it just does waves and it affects vibranium and everything. So he has this kind of weird, stupid looking claw as one of his hands because obviously. In the movie saw his guy's hand cut off it was his left hand though um but in the fate in the comics and stuff it is his right hand and to go along with it we do have this weapon thing i don't know how you'd even get this on here but it's supposed to go um on the claw or whatever you know to be like the sound he's um admitting out of his hand and everything but i guess it just sits on there like that if you stand up it'd probably just fall right off but yeah for some reason it just kind of sticks on there. I don't know exactly how you get it to stay, but he has that to, you know, again, add some detail into him. And then, of course, this pack also does come with Suri, which is Black Panther's sister, and so she's in a very similar outfit to Black Panther, um, well, like the comic book version of Black Panther, and we'll see one here in a second at the very end. And so, again, this was his sister in the movie, of course, which, uh, of course, a bunch of people liked her and thought she was really cool out of the movie and everything. Um, but she's just in an all-black outfit here. She does have a necklace, of course, that allows her to wear the outfit and everything, this necklace here. She does have this cloak on, which, again, I don't like cloaks or capes on figures because this one just kind of, like, uh, attaches around her shoulders, which with the necklace kind of gets in the way and stuff. But if you move her too much, if you, like, stick it on there, it kind of sticks pretty well. But if you, like, hit her, I think it just falls right off. Um, but we'll just go and take it off for ease of looking at this. So, of course, here's a look at her face, which is just all black with the eyes, has the ears, of course, for the panther. The necklace there that can move around and all sorts of stuff. Then on here, she's got um, these different colored designs. So on the hand, it goes into a gray with stripes. And then she does have some claws on her hand as well. Still an all-black outfit. Then we get to a belt, which is weird. It kind of has like an X-Men belt buckle on there. It's just got an X on it. And then it's got all sorts of pockets and stuff. Um, of course, holding all sorts of weapons and um, stuff that she's invented. And then going into her feet, which is the same as the claws. But they're just like, kind of look like uh, wrapped around. So like a band, not band, but like a cloth material is just wrapped all around her feet and everything. And so I think that looks really cool. And I like that they did make a Surrey. Of course, this is exclusive and this is the comic book version, not the movie version. Um, but this does show, you know, that she does at some point become or the Black Panther, even if it's for a little bit or something. And she does come with a spear, so you can put a spear in her hand. And so she has this spear with the gold tip and then it's got this feather design with the um kind of like a necklace or something hanging off of it as well there so it just gives her a cool spear so that's the toys r us two pack and for the boxes armed with their own expertly designed weapons these matter in or er, master innovators prepare for battle so there's a little information to go along with both of those and so like i said that's it for the toys r us two pack 
The next up here is the Walmart exclusive, so we have Walmart exclusive coming up now. And this is the original Black Panther, so this is what Black Panther originally looked like with his outfit and design. Um, supposed to be kind of like what, the in the movie, if you saw that, the... Um, to, uh, the dad was supposed to be wearing um, the original or the Black Panther's dad or whatever when like the flashback scenes and stuff was supposed to be an, wearing an outfit similar to this but obviously in the more modernized Black Panther version and so up close here we do have the head it's again very similar to um, Shuri if you from the last figure and stuff just obviously in a man instead of a female so he's just got an all black head no design just of course does have some like face showing the eyebrows and cheeks and stuff but he's got the white eyes and of course the panther um ears then we do have like a cloak or a cape going on here that does have a panther or i guess that's just the skull i thought it was a panther head um kind of clasping it together but it does have the collar around it here that i do like on this um character a lot the collar design um going up around the neck and everything then we go in all black again it has the gray with the stripes going on it um and then claws and everything just like surrey then his belt just all gray and it just has the square belt buckle design more all just all black and then the gray legs which his aren't the like um bound ones that again look like material wrapped around these are again just matching the uh hands they're just got the all gray with the black stripes going down them and everything so there's not much special to the character here again this is just the original black panther was just plain basic um but i really like this it's one of my favorite designs then he does of course come with some other stuff so we do have hands so we have these are the claw hands so we do have hands for holding weapons and stuff so we have two gripping hands we do have a necklace for him which i assume you can probably take the cloak off and then put this on around over his head but um, i'm not exactly sure about how you do that for sure and then he does come with a spear very similar to series this time has a silver point and then it's got some metallic blue i don't know if you can see that yeah you can kind of see it but they're like metallic blue feather type things and then of course a silver necklace there as well to go on his spear that i think looks really cool and so from this box even though they're all black panthers they do say different stuff it says with his claws sharp and his eyes set on his target black panther is ready to pounce so he's like Ram. um so that's it for the walmart black panther of the original one and this is our other Walmart exclusive, another Black Panther. And I assume this to be like kind of like the current uh, comic book version of Black Panther. The box doesn't say anything, but I assume that's what this is sp supposed to be. And I really like this. So this Black Panther is in an all-black design, you know, very similar to the other ones. But he has this purplish-pink color design going all over him, which I really like. And it does kind of fit in with, like, the movie. When you get hit and stuff, it like, get the purplish-pink ripples going through him and stuff and I really like that and so I really like the look of this character a lot as you can see it's just got the stuff all over it's got it on his hands his chest and down on his feet so up close here let's look at it. so there's his head so it does have the pinkish stuff all over his head there tad design again there's not much detail going into his actual head it's just this stuff adds more detail into it i like the ears because they're like pinned back ears um so of course if you've seen cats or something they have their ears straight up and then they sometimes bend them backwards and i like that his are backwards now um then that leads into his necklace so again this is this version of black panther's necklace that give him this suit and everything with the panther head there in the center and then these just like silver bars coming off of it and then going into his chest, we have, again, the pink design there. Again, on his uh, gauntlets or upper arms or forearms or whatever, and claws here as well. And this one has the claw hand on it. This is a fist. And then going down, nothing special until we get to the feet that has more of the pink on it there as well. No special claws or anything on his feet, just normal pointed feet. And so that's all he really has to him but he does come with some stuff so we do have claws so we can also give him another claw or a fist to switch out of those if you want those he does come with some of uh, the pink like ball type things i guess they're like uh, some sort of energy that you can put on the fist version so if you want to do that he can you know then like punch and stuff and then he just does come with a just a normal black head with none of the pink on it as well again with the pin back ears that I really like the design and just the white eyes there that you can switch out as well if you want that also and so from his box says T'Challa wears a glowing suit made of vibranium technology as a warrior hero Black Panther and so again this is a Walmart exclusive along with this other one here of the original version so you can get find both of these at Walmart if you want either of these as well and then our just our last thing 
to bring in here, which isn't again really special or anything, but it is a rhino. Now, of course, we did see the rhino in the movie. Um, I forget the guy who the guy is, but it was one of Black Panther's friends that ended up kind of turning against him because he didn't think he was doing the right things. He kind of called in the rhino, so in the big fight scene at the end, we had the rhino run in and Black Panther kind of took care of it and stuff or fought with it. And so this is kind of this kind of toy rhino. This is also a Walmart exclusive, so if you want this rhino, you can find it at Walmart. But just a rhino covered in armor here, as you can see, some of you know the uh, Wakandan technology going on to it. And then he does have a button here that kind of raises. It's hard, to kind of raise and lower his head, so obviously he can be like he's running along and he's charging at people. And then you can, I'll just grab this other Black Panther over here. Like I said, it's not made for these figures, but you're supposed to take the figures and attach them onto the back here. And they just like ride on top of the uh, rhino, kind of like that, that they're just riding along. On. But again, this is not for these figures. This is not a Marvel Legend, but we bought it thinking it was and then found out it wasn't. So that's going to be it for this Black Panther review of the Marvel Legend set of all the Black Panther. Of course, came with some other characters of Namor, Iron Man, and Black Bolt, which I think is part of possibly the Illuminati, so I don't know if that's why they were included, because I think Black Panther's in that set as well. I'm not exactly sure, I just know that's a comic book, and it has some of those characters, and it could be, and that's what the connection is, or not, I'm not exactly sure. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know in the comments down below, and let me know what your who your favorite character was, either from the Black Panther movie, or from this set is, and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos, and we'll see you next time.